Welcome back to Biafra News Support, Biafra People of Goodwill, Ada Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, depending on where you're watching me from. And happy new month to Biafra's lovers of freedom, people of goodwill. May this new month of March bring us more win, this freedom we are fighting for, more success and more victory. As we move, Bia friends, I bring you another update coming from Biafra Prime Minister Mazi Simon Ewa. And this update is about the 72 hours uh, ultimatum Biafra Prime Minister gave to Tinubu Fulani government to release Mazi Namde Kano. And Biafra Prime Minister gave this very ultimatum on 27th of uh, February 2024. And he stated that the end of this very ultimatum will be today, 1st of March. And the uh, newspaper posted it. First, let me read you the ultimatum Biafra Prime Minister posted to... Uh, this is two days ago, he said, the Biafra government has analyzed this picture, as you can see on the screen, this picture of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra in the courtroom yesterday, and we are now convinced that Nigeria Islamic State has been poisoning his food. However, we are demanding for the immediate release of Mazen Namdekano for proper medical treatment or, or else. We will step up the flame, the Biafra government and its forces hereby give Nigeria Nigeria 72 hours uh, ultimatum to release Mazen Namdekano for medical treatment or see a uh, very every visible structure that represents uh, Nigeria within Biafra land go down. The ultimatum will uh, elapse on the 1st of March, as you can see on the screen. Biafra Prime Minister said that, he posted it, our leader needs uh, proper treatment, but they don't want to release him. So today being 1st of March 2024, Today, Biafra Prime Minister said, today is the last day of the ultimatum. He said the 72 hours uh, ultimatum to release Mazen Namdekano for medical treatment ends today. And just as usual, we have opened the gate. Welcome to the month of March, the month of the highest dragon fire. Again, with the, with the pro mass. Since they don't want to listen, our leader needs uh, urgent medical treatment. He was, he was, he, he, we have been asking them to release this man for proper medical treatment. And they keep ignoring it. <laughs> he needs uh, urgent heart surgery, ear surgery. And they don't want to release him. Even when court of appeal discharged and acquitted him. And they refuse releasing him because they are scared of Biafra. Holding him captive for almost three years now, did he stop Biafra? No, Biafra is ordained. You can't stop what Elohim is in charge of. Release Mazen Namdekano for proper treatment, they refuse. He needs urgent heart surgery and ear surgery. Still, they don't want to release him. Like Biafra Prime Minister said, welcome to the month of March, the month of the highest dragon fire. Yeah, yeah, but welcome. Let it burn like never seen before. So before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. So here I bring you the full news from news, uh, Nigeria News Spa. Biafra Prime Minister posted it. He said, release Mazen Namdekano now. Simon Ekma tells Tinibu as, 20, as a 72 hours at ultimatum ends. This is coming from Nigeria News Spa. They posted it. They published it. And Biafra Prime Minister posted it on his uh, uh, official X handle. And here the news headline says, releasing Namdekano now. Simon Ekma tells uh, Tinibu as 72 hours uh, ultimate ends. Uh, end. Yes, yeah, Simon Ekba, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Ezel, has asked President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, led the uh, Nigeria government, to release Mazen Namdekano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. The Finland, uh, the Finnish based uh, lawyer and the separatist uh, disclosed in a statement on his official ex account following the expiration of a, a 72 hours uh, ultimatum issued to Nigeria government over Kano's uh, release. He noted the Nigeria government has no basis, has no basis for the continued detention of uh, Kano. The 72 hours ultimatum to release Mazen Nam the Kano for medical treatment ends today. And just as, uh, as usual, we have opened the gate. Welcome to may I welcome to March, the month of the highest dragon fire. He wrote, Bridget has issued 72 hours ultimatum to the Nigeria government to release Kano for medical checkups over his uh, deteriorating uh, health condition. Newspa recall that in June 2021, Kano was arrested. He was never arrested. He was kidnapped. You people should stop calling it arrest. What is wrong with you people, Seth? Eh? Only you make a thing here, Marsh, yeah, yeah. 
Ahmadike was never arrested. He was kidnapped in Kenya, tortured for eight days. How would you torture somebody that was arrested? You arrest somebody to come and face whatever charge you people have against him. And you tortured him for eight days in Kenya before he was illegally renditioned. Their plan was not to kidnap and the torture Mazen and the Their plan was to kidnap and kill him in Kenya. But Chukwu Kikabiyama disappointed them. They kidnapped our leader Mazen Namde Khan. His only crime is asking for his people's freedom. Now that he's forcing his people or dragging his people to go to Biafra with him, he said, conduct a referendum. Let my people choose. If they want to remain in Nigeria or they want to go with Biafra, because the suffering and the marginalization, the humiliation, the unnecessary and provoked killings of our people is getting out of hand. It's already out of hand. So it's time for them to decide if they want to continue being in Nigeria where they are being killed, humiliated, marginalized, and, they, and intimidated. Or they want to go with Biafra. Nigeria government turned his call for freedom to war. That's his only crime. That is Ahmadike's only crime. Because Britain don't want their business empire to collapse. That is why they are pushing the full and Oh, continue keeping the walls down. And Malami came out and said, Nigeria will only work if South is work. And you're telling me that these people are not insane. They, of course, they are not okay. We want, uh, we want to exit that contraption. We can't be in a country, in an Islamic uh, 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 country or state. We are not Muslims. We are UK government has officially announced Nigeria as an Islamic state. And we, the indigenous people of Biafra, not Muslims, and we cannot be in such country. Is unity by force? No, unity is not by force. Let me go. Stay on your own. Do as you please. Focus on your religion. Let me go up on my own. We are not living because we hate anybody. We are going to preserve our lives. We are being killed in Nigeria. And Ohamadike's only crime is asking for his people's freedom. They turned his call for freedom to war. Mazen Namdekanu was never arrested. He was kidnapped and tortured for eight days in Kenya before he was illegally renditioned back to Nigeria. And since then, he has remained in DSS custody. Even when called of appeal, discharged, and acquitted him all charges, Nigeria Fulani government refused uh, releasing him. And the flavors we have in South East that claim to be South East politicians, uh, 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 traditional rulers, or Hanez and Doshin and Yam, they didn't say anything. They couldn't challenge Nigerian government or ask them. Why are they refusing to release Mazen Namde Khan? These uh, flare fools couldn't ask. Why didn't Nigeria government release Mazen Namde Khan when court of appeal discharge and acquitted him? No. This one will come out on Ori. Releasing Namde Khan. Release him. Use him as a Christmas gift. Ahamadika uh, Tonu is here to Christmas gift. Huh? Use him as a Christmas gift. You see those uh, flare fools begging. Another one will come out on uh, on uh, releasing uh, uh, for releasing as in uh, releasing them the can. Uh, that's the only way sit at home will stop. That's how they keep coming out one one one. But they, they when Malami said we are waiting for Southeast uh, stakeholders to come out to say something, they didn't say anything. Rather they will come in. They will be coming out one by one. Uh, Nam the can. The other one will come out on uh, and Nam the can will be released. But first sit at home need to stop. If lefus or intellectuals we have in name of our uh, politicians in Southeast, that is why we gave them vote of no confidence. So here, a news said uh, they recall that uh, Hamadike was kidnapped in June 2021 by Nigeria government and remained detained despite court judgment ordering his release. Did you hear that? That is the reason we want to exit that contraption. We can't be in a country that doesn't even obey his or, uh, her own order, uh, rules or laws. Hmm? They don't obey their own rule of uh, uh, rule of law, whatever it is. It's called. They don't. <laughs> but they will hear it. Our leader, Mazen the Kano, must be released at all costs. They will hear from Biafra Republic Government in Eza. Hmm? A Biafra Prime Minister said, Let me welcome Biafra and Zenyak. I'm Kwonde Biafra. Welcome to March. Uh, welcome to March because the gate has been opened. I'm the gate. That dragon fire guy, they all got to do with the, with the promise on them. Freedom is every human's fundamental right. And the freedom is not being given. If you don't fight for your freedom, you can never be free. And you don't have to beg the oppressors for your freedom. Because the more you beg them, the more they subdue you, the more they humiliate you, the more they intimidate you, the more they marginalize you, the more they enslave you. Because... They have finally found that, that you can't fight for your freedom. For you to be begging them, it means you can't, you can't fight for your freedom. So, so for you not to be mentioning that freedom, freedom, or for you not to know that freedom is your right, they will subdue you to, for you to be scared of mentioning freedom. 
That is what they want to do us in Biafra land. But we said no. <laughs> we kept quiet for peace to reign. We endured their humiliation and intimidation in that contraption, in that British business empire. Their, bi their citizen was kidnapped in another African country, tortured for eight days <laughs> because he asked for the division of that, their business empire called Islamic State of Nigeria. They kept quiet over their citizen kidnap. A citizen holding British passport was kidnapped in Kenya. And the British government kept silent. They didn't do anything up to date. I want to be here. We are going to go to promise. Let the sound of freedom be heard everywhere. Hmm? Biafrans know those holding Mazenam the Khan. And Biafra Prime Minister have never forgotten the 72 hours ultimatum. We're not those holding Mazenam the Khan. They are Southeast governors, politicians, senators, Ohane Zendu Shinandiam, elders, IPOB Nigeria. The highest dragon fire of the month of March be extended to them. And they are entire, because they are, they are the ones throwing us back. They are the saboteurs. They are the eyes of the Fulanese in Biafra land. And then they are the ones who are throwing us back. Because I, I don't understand how we'll be fighting for our freedom. And we'll have gullible uh, flefus sabotaging our freedom. It's not that they, uh, their people are enjoying in that zoo. Just for them to keep filling their own pocket. They want their people to remain enslaved and marginalized in their own land. Any drip it on Daka. Yeah, any drip where he just renew to have the little Edrakanono. Hm? Any drip to have Kanono brain because they are our problem. They are our number one problem. And they are the eyes of the Fulanese in Biafra land. The 72 hours ultimatum to release mass and now the kind of medical treatment ends today. And just as usual, we have opened the gate. Welcome to the month of March, the month of the highest dragon fire. Are you hearing it? So, in the Sabo. It's time for you people to receive the Woto Woto Pro Mass. They, they thought Mass and Nam the Kano has no hope because he was looking down the other day. But they don't understand his body language. Only Bridgie understood that. If they like, let them fix more cameras and the mic on him. He speaks with Biafrans. We, we Biafrans understand from his body language. Amadi Kenny Insurgent Medical Treatment. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. Um, Madike must be released at all costs. They kidnapped him, thinking that they have succeeded in killing the spirit of Biafra. Hmm? So that is it. Thank you, Biafra Prime Minister. The evil plan didn't work. <laughs> Both IPOB criminal Nigerians. IPOB criminal Nigerians wanted Biafra spirit to die. But Chukwokikabiama disappointed them. Thank you all.